children today we are going to read a poem the paddling pool from class to english book marigold the paddling pool down by the river on the way to school we have to pass by the paddling pool the grass is green and the water cool and we stay to play by the paddling pool down by the river on the way to school the poet is anberry now let's try to understand the meaning of the poem down by the river on the way to school we have to pass by the paddling pool so the children are saying that on their way to school there is a river flowing and near to the river there is a pool why they have called the pool as a paddling pool because the pool is very shallow in which the children can walk in the grass is green and the water cool and we stay to play by the paddling pool there the grass is green in color and the water of the pool is cool there the children like to play near to the pool down by the river on the way to school let's write fill in the blanks with the words given in the bracket sail bark sing play ring boats boats sail in the water dogs what do dogs do they bark don't they children children like to play bells bells ring birds birds sing write the names of the days of the week you can begin with sunday so let's start sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday haldi wrote her name at school in this way you can see here haldi wrote her name she made one mistake what was it can you see the letter first letter of her name is in small letter so it should be always capital because it is the name of a child any person's name should always begin with capital letter she did not capitalize the first letter of her name now write her name correctly how will you write yes write your name correctly so my name is sujata so i will write like this i met a giraffe this is the sentence written by haldi haldi wrote like this here she made two mistakes what are they write haldi sentence correctly now think which two mistakes she made can you think yes the first letter is small the sentence should always begin with the capital letter so the letter i should always be capital and the sentence should end with a full stop so here full stop should come she did not capitalize the first alphabet of the sentence she did not put full stop at the end of the sentence correct sentence is i met a giraffe so here she has written in a capital letter and the at, at the end of the sentence there is a full stop 
Let's get ready for school. What do you do before going to school? Put Y for yes and N for no. Have a bath? Yes. Climb a tree? I don't think so. Play in the park? If you play then write yes, otherwise no. Comb your hair? Yes. Feed the birds? If you do, then yes, otherwise no. Help to milk a cow? If you help your parents in this, then write yes, otherwise and no. Fill in the blanks with before or after. Dash, eating food, I was my, I wash my hands. So, before eating food, I wash my hands. Dash, reaching school, I sit in class. Here, after reaching school, I sit in class. Dash, eating food, I wash my mouth. So, before eating food, I wash my mouth. Dash, reaching home, I do my homework. After reaching home, I do my homework. Let's sing. This is a poem by Margaret Russell. Let's sing now. Ding dong, ding dong, all the bells are ringing. Ding dong, ding dong, it's a holiday. Ding dong, ding dong, all the bells are singing. Ding dong, ding dong, let's go out and play. Did you like it? I hope yes. Fun time. What is the sound of your school bell? So you can write my school bell sound very loud. It sounds like tun tun or whatever sound it makes. You can write it. Can you make sound of different bells that you have heard? If you can make, then write yes. I can make sound of different bells that I have heard. Otherwise, you can write no. Different bells make different sounds. Try and make the sound of a phone bell. So, what is the sound? Tring, tring. Correct. Doorbell sound, it should be like. Ding dong. Correct. Cowbell sound. Like. Tun, tun. Horse bell sound like chuck, chuck. Bus bell sounds like. Yes, paw, paw. Write the first letter of each picture given in the box. So let's see which pictures are these. Grapes, Igloo, Rabbit, Apple, Frog, Fish, Envelope. So the first letter we will be writing G for Grapes, I for Igloo, R for Rabbit, A for Apple, F for frog, F for fish, E for envelope. So, can you find which word is this? G I R A F F E. Yes, correct. It is a giraffe. So, what will be writing here? Giraffe. Thanks for watching the video.
we'll be meeting soon